I can solve real-world systems using elimination and substitution. Solving a system of linear equations with fractional coefficients. Solve the following system of equations. 1 fifth x plus 1 half y equals 3. 1 third x minus 2y equals negative 2 thirds. So I'm just looking at one equation at a time. And I'm looking at these numbers, the denominators. To get rid of the fraction, I need to multiply this whole equation by those two numbers multiplied together. That is a common denominator. That will help me get rid of the fractions. It makes all the numbers bigger, but then I don't have fractions. I'm going to write that down here. 10 times 1 fifth x plus 10 times 1 half y equals 10 times 3. I multiplied it, distributed it to all the terms, and now I can do the multiplication. 10 times 1 divided by 5 gives me 2x. 10 times 1 divided by 2 gives me 5y. And 10 times 3 gives me a 30. Oh, that is so much better looking than this one. Now I'm going to work on the second equation. I have a 3 over here for a denominator and a 3 over here. Since they're the same, I can just use 1, 3 to get rid of both of them. So I'm not going to multiply them together because they are the same. It will still work if you want to multiply them together and multiply by 9. It's just bigger numbers. I'm going to multiply by 3. 3 times 1 third x minus 3 times 2y equals 3 times negative 2 thirds. 3 times 1 divided by 3 gives me 1x. And I'm just writing x and not the 1. Because that is implied right here. 3 times 2y is 6y. And then 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Divided by 3 is negative 2. That is so much better than this equation. We got rid of the fractions first. So now we can solve that system of equations. So I'm going to move over here to the side and rewrite it. 2x plus 5y equals 30, and x minus 6y equals negative 2. Now to use elimination, I want these numbers to be the same but with an opposite sign. So in order for me to get a negative 2 in front of this x, I have to multiply this whole line, the bottom row, by negative 2. So I'm just rewriting the top line, 2x plus 5y equals 30. And then after I multiply, I'm putting this right here. Negative 2x plus 12y, that was negative 2 times negative 6 to give me a positive 12, equals negative 2 times negative 2, a positive 4. Now I'm adding these equations together. I'm adding. <coughs> 2x plus negative 2x gives me 0x. And 15, 5y, sorry, plus 12y is 17y. And 30 plus 4 is 34. So now I have 17y equals 34. So I'm going to divide by this 17. That gives me 1y equals 2. This is half of my answer. I need an x answer and a y answer. So now I'm going to take this 2 and put it back into one of these two equations. I think I will pick the top equation. 2x plus 5 times 2 equals 30. Or 2x plus 10 equals 30. I'm running out of room. 
So that means I need to combine those numbers. So I have to move the 10 to the other side by subtracting it. It was getting added, so I have to use the opposite operation and subtract. Then I get 2x equals 30 minus 10 is 20. Now I have to divide by 2 to get x by itself. And I get x equals 10. So those are my two answers. x is 10 and y is 2. That point where x is 10 and y is 2 is the solution to those two equations. That's where those two lines cross, this point, 10, 2.